sister, she's taking us out to uh, little Chris Point. And right here, she says, you see how remote this area is? And they, uh, she was telling me about the story about these two women that came out here during the winter. They got stuck out here for 13 days. And they got stuck in their car because they, the car ran out of gas and they got stuck. That's not smart, people. It gets deep out here. That marker, my sister was telling me, they actually put a marker about that. This is, at this point, April 24th, 2015, the Michigan State Police rescued two sisters from Oklahoma and Nebraska who had their SUV stuck in the snow for 13 days. The sisters survived on Girl Scout cookies, Cheetos, and other snack foods they had with them. See, and you see how remote this is. In the wintertime, there's nobody out here. And they had to be, that was crazy to even try to get out here. Might have been some bears. Nope, there's been hiding. Fellow travelers, so your traveling buddy here, coming to you today from the UP. I'm up here at Chris Point. We're up here on the Lake Superior. There's a lighthouse up here. I'm here with my mom and my sister. They're taking me up here to the lighthouse. So travel with me, will you? This is the little Chris Point lighthouse up here. And we're gonna come up here. And say, look at this. We got a big old anchor here or something. What's this? A oh, buoy. U Lighthouse established buoy weight donated by Marcia and Carl Chan. Here we got some more buoys here. That's it right there. There's a thing. Got something else here. It's a U.S. Light Lighthouse Service buoy donated by. I can't really read that. But yeah, that's another buoy right there. There's another one. Lighthouse, uh, Great Lakes buoy donated by United States Coast Guard. The buoy, boy, that one's seen better days. Look at the dents in that one. So Lake Superior buoy donated by Sarah Wild. And Daryl Ortho. Another buoy, Lake Superior buoy, donated by Sarah Wild and Daryl Ortho. Though they owned a couple of them, didn't they? Lake Superior, right there. Viewing platform donated by Richard W. Fitzmore, the uh, Fitzmans, 1950 to 2011. That is that beautiful view. People down there with the rocks, like we showed at the sunset the other last night.
the size of this chain right here. Look at that. Goes all the way down there. Deb! That's a huge chain. Debbie! There. See this bench here? Yeah, uh, this is Jill a, and Harry. In memory of bench. Burton Tabor from Harry and Jill Huntoon. That is my sister and Dare. And Annette, Zach, and Huntoon. That's the. Uh, they put the. Uh, donated money for this bench in, the, in memory of him. That wasn't that his grandfather? Yeah. That's what I thought. Yep. Well, this was his in grandfather. In memory of right him. Here. And then there was. Oh, look at that. There you go. Another one in memory of Esther Tabor. From Burton Tabor and Harry and Jill Tabor Huntoon. Pike Lake residents. And this is this one and this one. They were husband and wife. That's cool. Mm -hmm. They have their names, different people. So their lives. memories are here. Mm -hmm. Here we have the Little Crisp Lighthouse. Right here in Lake Superior. Nice little clay. Playhouse. So you can actually go up in the top. I'll have to take you up there. We're looking for a historical marker. We should have a historical marker here somewhere. These rocks here, the big rocks here. My sister was telling me they've been putting these here because they're trying to prevent the erosion. They're afraid that eventually the erosion is going to come up and this is going to fall right into the water. Because they're trying to stop it. We're inside the lighthouse. There's lots of stuff in here. Look at the old pictures of the lighthouse and during the winter. So as you can imagine in the ice that builds up on this thing during the winter. Look at that. Steamship skills were pre requested for uh, crew members. Right here. Power rack. Little ship out there. They probably came by here all the time. Good. Lake Superior, graveyard of the Great Lakes. No one wrecked since 1800s AD. Look at all the ships. That have sank out there. Wow, that's a lot of ships. And of course, the most famous one is the Edmund Fitzgerald. Here's a little thing that here. It says United States Lighthouse Service Tenders. It is a little known fact that the U.S. Lighthouse Service included a branch that were the boat's tenders and crews and serviced the lighthouses. That included Chris Point Lighthouse Light, saving station along with most lighthouses of the Great Lakes, Atlantic, Pacific, Ocean, and the Gulf of Mexico. The U.S. Lighthouse Tender Service was established in 1840 and was directed into today's U.S. Coast Guard. In 1939, the Great Lakes fleet included 18 tenders. The importance of the tender service of the lighthouse service cannot be established enough. Without the lighthouse tenders, the crews, many of the lighthouses and life savings stations could not function. All their food supplies, personal medical needs, mail, and even their library books were transported by the tenders. Even the district inspector made this list of the tenders. 
most importantly to the crisp point I am featuring the lighthouse tenders the service lighthouse light saving station along with Deer Park Vermin Mill 200 White House Whitefish Point and Light Point Ign Erignus see photographs this was a very dangerous work the officers and crew risked their lives every day they went out to on a mission as seen in some of the photographs the Canadian lighthouse tender Thompson sank in the Whitefish Bay April 19, 1922 and with the loss of the all hands and was never found the crew of the tenders also perform many heroic facts, acts of life, life saving while in the missions, saving crews and sinking ships and stranded boat motors. Some of the ships that they're talking about here, the Marigold, 1932, uh, Amherst, 1892. So we're going to go up into the lighthouse. That is one of the windows. Squeeze in here. There are lots of people coming up here. Can you imagine walking this every day? Whew. It's a long ways up. Here we go. To another window. Look at that. Kenny, you coming, Derek? Oh, it's farther up does it go? I'm not there yet. Hey, I've got to go platform. Look at that out there. I wonder what stairs. that is. Oh, this window's actually open. There's some kind of pillars out there. How many are behind I don't know what those are. Me? I don't know. Is Brittany or Jay coming? Not yet. Here we go. This is the last step here. See how they got to go up there? That's steep. Here we go. <laughs> Sorry if it's a little shaky, everybody. No. That's the only way up. I think they're going to lie to us. I thought that was some kind of a sick joke, never ending. Man, we're at the top. He says no. Look at that. We're at the top. This is sketchy, right? Look at that. Here's the light. Right there. What the heck? Look at that. And that was how you go up. There, the little crawl space. Oh. Here we are on the outside. If you're all scared of heights, I suggest you fast forward this part. So look down. Woo. It is high up here. Look at that. And you can see that land over there that was told me it's Canada. Can you see us over there? That's Canada right over there. Let's go this way. See how they run now? They've got solar panels right here. See that? That's how this is run. Or the guy had to come up here every day and turn this on. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. I, said, I wonder what those pillars are out there. What was like the reasoning for this? Look at that. This, is, this railing isn't that very tall either. Look at that. Look at that. You can see the boardwalk down there with all the names in it. Wow, look at the beach down all the way down. Oh, I'm actually high enough. I'm getting service. I haven't had service for a while. 
<laughs> My phone's going crazy. Because I'm actually getting service. Did you see my phone here? I mean, I barely get any bars. I mean, my, I actually am down below. I don't get no service at all. And since I'm up here in the lighthouse, I actually get a little bit of service. Since I've been up here, I didn't even have to use my phone. Watch this. We have, only have two TV with my I'm saying that. Um, no service at all up here. So, Crazy. Funny, I told you right over there is Canada. I was just looking at my phone, I got a message here. And because I got Sprint and all that, it says right here that I'm on uh, Canada's uh, service right now. <laughs> it says to call back to US dial one. <laughs> That's very. <laughs> Down there, you can see my mom right there sitting on the bench. And then there's my sister over there collecting rocks again. She's looking for more of them rocks. Oh, look at that, it's got a little cross in the rocks right there. That's pretty cool. Whew. So it's not very wide walkway either right here. Can't squeeze by anybody. That is crazy. Down here sitting on the rocks. Got sanitizer for you if you're worried about germs and all that. Just gotta hold on when you're going up there. They got a little book here out in this case right here. This is the little Chris Point Society Visitor Book log book, and you can sign your name in there. Let's find a place to put. Yeah, I'll put it right here. You put it right here. You see, I visited here. This is September. And the pen's not working very good. September 1st. Party of one. Name. I'm going to put my YouTube name. That way, if somebody comes here and look in there, find the traveling buddy. there traveling buddy and I'll put Lansing Michigan I ain't gonna put my real address but I'm from Lansing Michigan Sorry, I'm trying to do this by hand and Michigan four eight nine zero six right there now I've been in the comment an amazing
place. Yeah. Oh, you do that one. Right there, see? Now if you come here, you know the traveling buddy's been here. And let him know. I told you to come here. This is a great place. Actually, a plaque right here says Crisp Light Point Lighthouse. Established 1904. Histor uh, Crisp Light Historical Society. Here they got the, light, the Lighthouse Visitor Center right here. I'll go, ahead and run and go in here. Go in here. See yeah, what's in the visitor sense. center? Look at the symbol there. That's beautiful. The ship wheel. Thank you. The bottles they found around here. Old Pepsi bottle, Pepsi can. Wow. Oh, beer can right there. Budweiser beer can. Oh, that one's cool. Durham's High Tide Beverages. Never heard of that one. Oh wow, Kool-Aid. Never heard of that little bottle of Kool-Aid. Really? Amazing what Lake Superior will spit out. Alright. That is cool. All kinds of stuff you can buy. Mm -hmm. Little things. Coffee cups. A pendant. A little crisp point, and all goes to help this place. Keep it going. This is, I can give you pictures of the lighthouse. Look at that. You can even uh, coasters for your coffee table and that, with lighthouses on it. Got books here. Got all kinds of stuff. Oh, look at the little ship, the Coast Guard ship. That's awesome. Look at those stones. Oh, look at that brick. Got a lighthouse printed out, painted on it. Oh, wow, look at that. SS Arthur B. Homer. One art. Or carrier, dramatic view of the la side latching of the lakes. Or carrier into the Detroit River, November 7, 1959, built by Great Lakes Engineering. Wow! Look at that. That's how they put it in the water. Big tanker. Oh, that's a Edmund Fitzgerald right there. That's a picture of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Most famous shipwreck around here. Looks like there used to be an actual house here. Lighthouse house. I mean, that's been gone, I'm sure, for many years. Didn't know that. Here's where before they started restoring it. See how beat up it was. Is there a price on these? I'm sorry? The stones, like my sister's been looking out for. See how they've been shined up. These are the stones you can actually find out on the beach. If you look right. That old RC can. I'm sure that washed up here too. And this is all stuff that washed up here. Look at that. A shovel. A whole shovel. Wow. Coast Guard picture right there. Oh, look at the compass. Oh, there's the, the original lighthouse light right there. This lane is on loan from the Salute Historical Sites. Wow. Look at that. That one's seen better days. That's the actual lighthouse. That's what it looked like before they started restoring it. Wow, you see how bad it was. 
I'm glad they saved it. This is my question about those stone pillars that are out there. Because here's the lighthouse. And right about here is where those stone pillars are. There used to be a dock there. You see, there used to be several docks right here. See, there used to be all kinds of buildings here. I got a Bowie light here, and it's actually lit up. The LHE era Bowie light on loan from Valley Camp Museum ship. Right there, there's a Bowie light. Cool. Look at these little. Looks like a Santa holding the lighthouse. A ship guy. That's pretty cool. Alright fellow travelers, that's about it for my little trip here to the crisp uh, lighthouse right here. Uh, right here in uh, on the Lake Superior. Trying to figure out where it's at. Right? <laughs> but we're up in the UP. This is on Lake Superior, right out here. It's awesome, you know. A little found gunning up there in that tower. If you're afraid of heights, I want to say that's for you. And it was funny, they were getting service from Canada. <laughs> that's awesome. So if you like this video, hit that like button, share, subscribe, any comments for me, any comments appreciated. Any ideas for me to do, let me know. I just might show up and do it. So until next time, my fellow travelers, I'll see you around the mitten.